Hey, welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and real-life situations to help you learn and improve your English. Today, uh, we are going to talk about a chore that we need, to, that I need to do, or a task, or an activity, or uh, it's just a project that uh, around the house that I need to do. But a lot of times we'll use the word chore, C-H-O-R-E. And that chore today is I need to uh, change out the hummingbird feeders or change out the food or we say the nectar. The nectar is like the food or we call it sugar water that the hummingbirds eat. Hummingbirds are very small and tiny birds that fly around very fast. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Again, if you like this uh, channel and these types of videos, please hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. Also, let uh, your friends and other people know about the channel if they might benefit from this. So without further ado, let's get at it. So these are... Um as you can see, we have some plants here uh, in the backyard. The backyard is the area behind the house. But uh, here we have some plants that are in planters or planter boxes. We have uh, some tomato plants and also uh, pepper plants. But we also have here hanging in the back of the house right outside the uh, back window we have two hummingbird feeders so you can see the two feeders they are red in color and they are just hanging from the, the eave of the house we call it the part that's uh, underneath uh, the roof it's called the eave and uh, I need to replace the liquid that is inside these hummingbird feeders like I said before the liquid inside is called nectar and it's basically sugar water and I need to replace the uh, nectar or the sugar water uh, pretty frequently or pretty often maybe every three four five six days depending on how hot it is because the nectar since it contains sugar can form mold, mold inside the uh, sugar water, which is not good for the hummingbirds. So I'm going to take these uh, feeders down, bring them inside the house, wash them, prepare some new nectar, and uh, refill these feeders, and then bring them back outside. So a feeder is just an item or object that we use to feed in this case it would be birds so to feed means to provide or give something to eat so now as you can see i've brought the uh, two hummingbird feeders into the kitchen I'm going to just empty the uh, nectar or the sugar water out of them. This one, the top just pulls off. You can see the water. Here is a small bit of mold that started to grow not much. I'm just going to dump that out. Excuse the barking in the back. That's uh, the dog that we have. Then this other hummingbird feeder, I'm just going to turn upside down this top part screws off and I'm going to empty out this nectar. The bottles are a little bit dirty so this is called a sink. This is called a two compartment or double sink. A double sink. This part here is called the faucet and the handle and this is a soap dispenser. I can wash my hands. 
I'm going to clean the uh, clean the hummingbird feeders just using warm water. It's a small bit of uh, dish soap or dishwashing soap and vinegar. So I take this. This is called a uh, this area here where the water goes down is called the drain. The drain, and this is called a uh, one a strainer because it can strain things and keep things from going into the drain so it can remove the large objects so they don't go down the drain and they don't clog the drain or stop the drain which will stop the water from flowing. This is also called a stopper because I can put this in the drain and I can stop the water from going down the drain so I can fill up the sink with water. So I'm just going to turn the water on to the warm setting. I just put a just a small amount of dishwashing liquid and also this is uh, vinegar. So I'm just going to add some vinegar to the water. And to let that this compartment we call it this compartment or this this sink area fill up with water, but I'm just going to let the, uh, put the parts of the hummingbird feeder in the sink, in the uh, soapy water with vinegar, and I'm just going to let the parts or the items soak, you say soak, or just remain in there, stay in there for a little while so I can clean them off, so I'm going to let them soak like to sit in the water for a period of time is to soak. So now this uh, compartment is full. It's full enough with water so I'm just going to let these uh, hummingbird feeder uh, parts soak in here for a while uh, to let the vinegar kind of uh, maybe kill or disinfect, kill or disinfect any uh, mold that may be growing. Then I'll come back and I'll wash the uh, parts well. I may use a, probably use a sponge. It's called a sponge. Or if there's any hard to reach spots, I could use, or material that doesn't want to come off, I can use this, which is called a, called a scouring pad, a scour, scouring Pad. That's kind of a difficult word to pronounce, but it helps to remove uh, material that is hard to get off. So we'll be back after this soaks and we'll continue the video. So now I'm back. These items have soaked in the water for a while. Now I'm going to uh, wash them. I'm going to take a sponge just wash it out and one side here has a rough part which is can get out any rough or hard to remove material so I'm washing it now I'm going to this is called rinse and rinsing the hummingbird feeder part rinsing it with warm water and set it aside or to the side so I will just continue washing and rinsing each part to make sure it is clean. So now all the parts are washed. I'm going to uh, let them sit on the countertop. This is called the countertop or counter. I'm going to let the parts sit on the counter or countertop and let them dry. And the next step is to uh, make the uh, sugar water or make the nectar. And that's, like I said, made from uh, sugar and water at a ratio of four parts water to one part sugar. So I'm going to use four cups of water and one cup of regular uh, white sugar. And now we're going to make the um, hummingbird nectar and it's at a ratio of 
four to one. So that's four parts water to one part sugar. So I'm going to have four cups of water and one cup of sugar. So this is a measuring cup, we call it, measuring cup. And this is a size of two cups. And this is a container, or sometimes we say a canister, container or canister. And this is regular white sugar. It has a latch on it. You can see a latch, which keeps the top closed and sealed. And there is a rubber seal here. So I'm going to um, add four, get four cups of water from the uh, faucet and put in this pot. I'm going to turn, and this is called the uh, cooktop. And this dial right here controls the temperature to this uh, burner or this heating element. So you see I'll turn this on and this will become red. So I have two cups of water. I'm going to just pour it in here. And it's another two cups, so that's four cups of water. I'm going to let this um, heat up, heat up, and uh, come almost come to a boil. It's not going to come to a complete boil, boil, but almost come to a boil. Then I'm going to add the uh, one cup of sugar and uh, stir the sugar in, stir the sugar in with a, this wooden spoon. So I'm going to stir the sugar in so it melts, it dissolves, all the sugar dissolves into the water. And that's, uh, it's as simple as that. That's what the uh, nectar or hummingbird, nectar or hummingbird food is, and that's how easy it is to make. So now as you can see, the water is um, getting hot. It's starting to come to a boil. It's not boiling yet, but I can see bubbles and their bubbles are starting to come to the surface of the water. So that's hot enough. I went ahead and I guess put one cup of sugar into this measuring cup. So now I'm just going to add the sugar into the hot water and use this wooden spoon to stir the sugar and dissolve it or make sure that all the sugar is dissolved into the water and um, I'm going to stir it for a little while and that's uh, how easy it is to make uh, hummingbird nectar so it looks like the sugar is pretty much dissolved I don't know if you watched my other episode of about uses and expressions, expressions using the word pretty, but uh, the sugar is pretty much dissolved now. And what I'm going to do is to turn this uh, burner off. I'm going to uh, put this pot here so it can cool off. It can cool off. And once the uh, nectar is cool, I will then go ahead and, and put or pour the nectar into the two hummingbird feeders here. And then uh, I'll place them back outside and the birds will, hummingbirds will have uh, something to uh, eat for, uh, for a while until it, I need to uh, change up the nectar again. So now the uh, sugar water or hummingbird nectar has cooled off. I'm going to pour it into these hummingbird feeders. This is the smaller of the feeders. So I'm going to pour it. There's a line inside that shows me where I need to, uh, how far I can fill it up. I'm going to use this small measuring cup just to transfer the nectar into here. 
so I don't overfill it. So that's about right. So for this one, it's very easy. I just put this cover back on. That's ready to hang up, hang up outside. And then this one, I'm going to fill up using a funnel. This is a funnel, so I can pour the nectar into the funnel and go into the bottle without spilling, without spilling. This one's a little bit different. I put this ring on here, and then I have to take this and screw this on top, just like that. So now this is ready to go. So I can turn this over, turn it right side up, and that's ready to go. And then we'll take these outside and hang them up and we'll be ready to go. Okay, back outside now. I have the two hummingbird feeders and I'm going to hang them up, put them back uh, where they were so the hummingbirds can have some uh, food to eat and enjoy. So, there you have it. That means uh, that's how it works, that how, that's how things go. It's as simple as that. It's not very difficult. So I hope you enjoyed this video on Learn Everyday English about doing a common chore uh, around the house, which is uh, refilling the hummingbird feeders. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. Hit the bell so you can receive notifications when we upload another video. And um, thank you for watching this episode of Learn Everyday English. Thank you.